NVIDIA. You most likely know the brand as one of the biggest companies in the world. They're in line with Apple and Microsoft, which those are basically over $3 trillion in basic market cap, which honestly is insane. But today we're going to be covering everything that's been happening to NVIDIA's latest RTX 50 series, where there have been so many reports and so many headlines about these GPUs that are not good headlines, but rather some of the downsides of these GPUs ever since they came to the market. Now, today we're mostly going to be just talking about the GPUs because, of course, I'm not going to be talking about stocks of NVIDIA because that's also some headlines that NVIDIA has been in quite often. But this is a tech channel. We talk about technology. So let's get straight to what you need to know, what has been happening to these GPUs ever since they came to the market. Now, first is, of course, did you get your hands on the latest RTX 5080 and 5090 when they came to retailers? And the answer is, well, some retailers only had a small stock of these GPUs. Some were actually reporting that, well, they had less than 10 stock for each GPUs, which means only a few handful of people actually managed to get these GPUs for themselves, despite there obviously being some scalpers that obviously got these GPUs to either sell on eBay for double the price, or even sell a photo of these GPUs, which honestly, a photo of an RTX 5080 for a price of 2000 kind of a steal, I guess. <laughs> but... Besides that, these GPUs were mostly hit by, well, production wasn't in good line. In fact, there was some production issues and basically they couldn't make as much of these GPUs as they wanted. Even though they actually did report saying that they were stopping production of the 40 series, their last generation GPUs, and yet they somehow still didn't make enough of these new GPUs. Now, if you are someone that was lucky enough to get these GPUs, you're ready to put into a build and, well, you found out that your power connector has mounted after using for a little bit. Because, well, NVIDIA is still having the same issue that was found with the 4090, where basically the power connector would mount in basically the sockets, and it's not the best thing. And let's be honest, it's not a surprise that these cables are mounting because, well, they are requiring so much power. In fact, the 5090 was expected to have at least a recommendation of 600 watts for itself, which means, yes, these GPUs draw a lot of power, and it's not a surprise that these GPUs are still having power connector issues, which aren't built for these type of power consumptions. Now, let's say you managed to get away from obviously not having your power connector mount, but there is another issue that happened, which was a driver issue. Now, it has been reported that, well, some users were having where ever since they updated to the latest drivers for their NVIDIA cards, they were basically having some issues where the screen would either go black or their system will not work for about an hour, which is a very frustrating thing because let's be honest, you spending over $2,000 for basically the 5090 and you can't even use it. And well, it's just basically a solid brick of metal just for you to look at and see that you spend $2,000 for that. Now, of course, NVIDIA did obviously fix this driver situation, which is a good thing that they managed to fix this. But the video is still not out of their headlines because, wow, as well, that has been reported that the RTX 5090, 5090D, and even the RTX 5070 Ti, which basically came out not too long ago right now, were missing their RRPs. Now, of course, for those that do not know what RRPs are, those are your render output units, which also helps when it comes to rendering. Now, of course, for those that are mostly wanting to use your hard roll renders instead of using, obviously, the likes of DLSS 4. Now, of course, it has been reported that only some majority of these GPUs were affected, and it only calls up to basically 5% loss in performance, which honestly is not bad. But of course, if you are someone that did have this issue, you can easily get your cards replaced by NVIDIA because they will be replacing that for you. And just as when I thought NVIDIA was out of headlines, it has been reported recently, in fact, yesterday, that some users were reporting that while the RTX 5080 was also missing ROPs, and it has been confirmed today by NVIDIA themselves that, well, these cards do in fact have missing ROPs, and that means all of their GPUs, the 50 series, were basically missing some of their RPs when it came to basically releasing them to the public. Now, of course, all of this is mostly caused by, well, NVIDIA might have rushed too much when it came to releasing these new GPUs. And I think this is why AMD is kind of smart because they were expected supposed to announce their all new AMD Radeon RX 9000 series, but they actually delayed it because, well, I think they were smart about making sure these cards are actually ready for the market. But let me know in the comments below what do you think of this whole situation. Do you think NVIDIA rushed a bit too quickly to get their cards out? Or do you think it's something else that caused this issue, whether it's from the likes of stocks or obviously just trying to please some shareholders? But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video. Be safe as always and have a great day. Bye.